I'm out of breath. Jacob is here. How you does a recorder? I bet you didn't expect that on the show. Yeah, yeah, neither did I. I didn't expect to do this show, actually. And it's because it's, I, I love the, uh, I love the holidays. I love Christmas. I love the, uh, given spirit. I love it all. And I, uh, I don't like when spooky things come and mess it all up. I don't like that. Bothers me. Gets me a little sad. Grows me out a little bit. Scares me a little bit. Today's program, it was supposed to be about VR. That's gonna have to wait till the, uh, it's gonna have to wait till the live stream. It's gonna be a crazy, it's gonna be a crazy live stream. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. Because there's so much stuff going on. So much. That's really, uh, it's cool stuff. All right. There's, um, it's gonna wait for the live stream on Friday. There's a reason why Leonardo da Vinci's man is featured prominently with augmented reality glasses. You better, you better watch that show on Friday because it's going to be an interesting one. If it's not Friday show, it'll be, it'll be Tuesday show. I'm just going to go with the flow here. But we're talking today about the uh, Satanic Temple. Yeah, they're in the news again. Mm -hmm. You remember a year ago, I talked about them. I talked about them, the uh, after-school Satan, right? Because they, they've been using the courts and everything else to yeah, basically get satanic material, satanic Bibles, satanic... Uh, all the, yeah, I don't want to like blood. What are they, what, what else, what else they got there? What else do they uh, share? Yeah, pitchforks and stuff like that. And uh, the black masses and black candles. A bunch of like, you know, metal to put in their face. I mean, is that, is that, I, I don't know. I don't know what goes along with that stuff, but it's, it's different. You know, I don't want to be, uh, it's definitely different. <laughs> don't exactly want my kids going to that after school program. They, have, they, they won't be, they won't be. You know, this uh, satanic uh, temple is now prominently displayed in the uh, Capitol building. Yeah, in the holiday, the holiday spirit of things, right? Good old uh, Lucian Greaves, who is the, the co-founder of the satanic temple. This is him. Not Marilyn Manson. I know he looks like him. I thought the same thing because he's, you know, he's got that um that eye, which I looked up and he clarified a couple years ago on Twitter that it was a disfigurement and it just happens to be a really, you know, I guess he thinks it's a cool look. And it, I mean, if there was ever a leader, right, for the Church of Satan or the Satanic Temple or the Satanism, if there was ever gonna be some like dude to uh, you know get back from that in your. Uh, right next to your, the manger scene. It would be Lucian, right? Because he's done it before. Ice just featured uh, the Satanic Temple uh, from Chicago on their program on, on YouTube. And yeah, I mean, they talked about how they don't really believe in a literal Satan. And then they talked about all sorts of like legal stuff and rights and separation of church and state. And really, it's not about them worshiping Satan or anything else like that. You know, so when they do their little protests and they dress up like little demon babies in chains and they do all sorts of really perverse things, it's really just to, you know, it's just to get those evangelicals really mad and really just show them because you know they're they're of course they want they they are preaching tolerance <laughs> every day that i come on here i try to do something completely different just to keep you all on your toes 
This program was not my program. I mean, it seems like Big Daddy Z's at it again. You know, he sends me a text. I'm in the middle of getting ready for the, the, the VR AI show that's going to be hitting you now, I guess on Friday and Big Daddy V, he, he sends me, he sends me this. He sends me the Satanic Temple placed the uh, a sculpture of the Forbidden Fruit in the Illinois Capitol building, right between the Christmas tree and the menorah. Ain't that cheery? With the, there's a uh, title, it's something like, you know, knowledge is power. <laughs> Fight the power! Fight the power! You know, and the funny thing is, is that they say that they're a religion, but then they say that they don't believe in a Satan, which would kind of go against the whole idea of believing in some kind of a higher power. And I don't know. It just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. It just seems like it's a, uh, oh, wait, why, why are you gonna dress up that way too? If you're not all into all that spooky stuff, why are you, why are you dressing up that way? These, I gotta tell you though, they're good with the legal stuff. That, uh, that Lucian Graves, they, uh, they're, they're good with the legal stuff. They just sued Netflix, something like $50 million. They settled a $50 million lawsuit with Netflix over, get this, you know that Bathfamat, the one that they're famous for, that they're putting on all these, all these state buildings, properties, right there with the, uh, the, uh, ugh, Pan, Baphomet, Satan, whatever you want to call them, right there. That, uh, that statue that I've, I've showcased in a couple of my videos on here uh, is, uh, you know, was, I guess, featured in Sabrina. So Lucian and his group, basically they um, held uh, Netflix up to uh, account they uh, sent stuff on Twitter showing, look at the difference between the two. I guess the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, they, they, uh, they basically copied their version, their version of the Baphomet. And so, and they, they got a nice hefty settlement out of that from Netflix, the biggest powerhouse in the bunch. The idea of Satan, is being thrust in like every area and there's a reason for it and there's also a reason why um you know his uh his right eye which is significant spiritually speaking is all clouded over can't really see straight can't really see the truth can't really see that what they're doing perhaps is not uh not really in the best interest of everyone especially themselves because you know lust and lasciviousness and the worship of self and lower carnal man, which is really what they're worshiping. They probably don't realize it. It's just, it gets you nowhere. It's gonna get you nowhere fast. And then to, like, then to protest by doing something to hurt those who have faith in more, because you don't have faith in more, just doesn't sound very genuine. So I'm gonna call BS on that, Lucian. I'm gonna say you do worship the devil or the idea of Satan or whatever, and that's why you dress the way you do, and that's why you probably have all sorts of spooky rituals and you're all, uh, you know, you're getting all these, you're getting all this money from Netflix now. How did that work, huh? How many, uh, you had to do the, uh, do you do some kind of a chant or some kind of a, a thing? You know, because that sounds goofy to me. That sounds goofy to me that you'd like be upset. If anything, you should have been like, hey, you know, hey, hey look at that. You know, look at that. Just give me a break. Give me a break with this. And they paid him. They paid him to like this. It was really quick. Meanwhile, the uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is, uh, you got to check out um, KJ's show on that scariest movie ever. KJ, my buddy, he's a, he's, he's a good dude. I like KJ. He had me on his show, really, like when my channel was so, so super small and we became friends over the years. So you should check him out. He did a great breakdown of The Economist 2019 magazine cover, which I'm going to get into a little bit on the live stream. And, whew, and I got to tell you, if this isn't all linked and somehow intertwined, I don't know what is. This stuff that's going down right now with... Um, the fact that I could be working on this program and then get a, a text from Big Daddy Z saying, check this out, and it's an article from the BBC talking about how they're all about trying to get the power, you know, power. You eat of this tree, you know, you'll be like God, Satan said to Eve. you be like God, knowing good from evil. You, ate a, you eat of that knowledge of good and evil, you eat of that duality tree all the time. The instant you eat of it, you're going to die. 
And what does that mean? Adam didn't physically die like right away. He died many hundreds of years later, but he became ignorant of the truth. He became ignorant of, and he had the true life that was within him died. And that's why he physically died. The instant you eat of that tree and they're worshiping death, they're worshiping mankind, carnal mankind with the world that we're in today. It is a, uh, it is a kooky and a crazy one. And that's why I come on here, but I got an extra special reason to come on here today because you see while I come on here and I talk about these interesting things and I do goofy things to just kind of keep people you know on their toes and keep people from thinking that I'm more than just some you know dude on YouTube who uh, you know likes to talk to all of you and loves to encourage all of you well one of my viewers Chad McNeil he and his family suffered a pretty terrible tragedy and um, I really I love how because I get so many, I love the emails that I get from you and the, uh, and the comments and everything else. And it's so hard for me to keep up. But I, I love that when, when things do show up and they showed up for Chad. And it was right after uh, this is a terrible car accident where his son, and he has actually said because he's allowed me to share some of our texts over what's happened. And this is this is really the the way I want to end this program with all that you know because this this program was like just it was like heavy laden with darkness because you look at these people and you look at what they're doing and you just see nothing but darkness and and they're trying to st they're attacking the religious system but they don't realize that you know the the light uh, the way the truth the life Christ God the hope of glory which is it's it's shining brighter than ever before and it's going to make this stuff look ridiculous in in the grand scheme of things when stories like Chad's come out and it's not over yet and I was almost a little hesitant to share well what happened was he was in he was in a terrible terrible car accident and he didn't have his seatbelt on and it and uh, and um, Chad said that if anything if you could tell everyone just make sure you wear your seatbelt if that if that one thing because it wasn't looking good and he sent me uh, the first text over what happened And I responded back sort of like, you know, I want you to tell me about how good things can be and how, where things are going. And I didn't really understand the whole um, I didn't really understand the whole situation. I just knew that there was an accident and I had just stumbled upon either this comment or this um, message that I'd gotten through Facebook or wherever. And so we ended up communicating on Facebook. And so I had said to him, I said, you know, please don't tell me what the doctors are saying that it's hopeless and everything else. And it's, it's not like he was doing that. He was just telling me what the doctors were telling him. And as a father, you know, to, to hear that you're going to lose your son and that there's no hope. It's, I can't, I can't, I can't even imagine. I can't even go down that road. And uh, that's why I think that he's so super strong. I don't even know him outside of this story. And uh, maybe I've seen a picture or two. And that hit me and I was like, wow, you know, I really um, I feel terrible. But you see, obviously, I want to see good. I want to hear about a miracle. I don't want to hear about the, um, because what do you say to those people? Like, what do, you know, poor Georgie, right? I just did the program on him. I wanted to see a miracle. I didn't know what to say. You know, um, we were all praying about it and thinking about it, but we just didn't have this, you know, it's like, I, I feel like if I'm inspired to say something, you know, I say it, but it's like, I, I didn't know what to say. And how do you know anything to say? And so all I could say was that, you know, I just, I hope, I pray that there's some kind of miracle here, but, you know, maybe that God can be glorified somehow. I don't know. I don't know. That it can get people like you that are going through a hard time right now to say maybe there's more. And then I got the email that um, I just got, whether it was a day, uh, a day or two ago, depending on when this video lands. And he was faced with a choice. He said, you know, um, it looks like he's going to be a vegetable. He's going to be this. He's going to be that. And it's and um, nobody should have to make this decision. And, and all I could say was, you know, I, 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 I felt like I wanted to say to him, you know, go home, sleep on this. I know right now you don't know what decision to make. Go to bed, let, you know, sleep on this. And, um, and it'll be clear. 
just get some rest. You know, I, I, that's what I said. And, and I sent this out at And then the next day when I wake up, because I go to bed early, I get his response where he woke up during a CAT scan because they wanted to just, you know, before we pull the plug, let's just give him a CAT scan. And while they were doing it, he got agitated and they took him off and he, and he, he opened his eyes and he said his father's name. And as, as his father was moving in the room, he was following him with his eyes. His son's not out of the woods yet. And... But that's a miracle. That's, and I don't know where this is going to go. And see, it's like for me to say, it's, you know, it's just going to be a miracle. He's going to be amazing and everything else. Well, as it stands right now where the doctor said, you know, if anything, he'd be a vegetable. And then they said, oh, if anything, he'd be a vegetable and he'd be in some kind of a care facility. If anything, now he's speaking and giving the thumbs up. Man, that's a beautiful story. And there was no church. There was no tithe. There was no, there was no nothing. It was no nonsense. It was just a father's love for a son. reaching out to somebody that he watched on YouTube, somebody who actually has faith in more and believes that there is more, that believes that it's not just about Christmas miracles, right? It's that, that the fact that we're allowed and privileged to live this life, come what may, and understand that this is not there all there is. But you can't live in fear and you can't live in hate. You have to live with faith. And with faith, all things are possible. So yeah, I believe that it would be possible. I believe it's possible that where the doctor said no, 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 and he had a choice just a day ago, things change. And they did change. And I hope they stay that way. I'm going to give you an update on And I asked him if he had a GoFundMe. And he and his wife, they just don't, they don't want to be those kind of people. But I'm going to link, um, I'm going to link their, um, what they do have. It's, you know, Team Cody, go for it, baby. You know, on a, a Facebook, it's like a Facebook group. And I encouraged him to start a GoFundMe because, my goodness, anything that could help them, you know. And I'm not connected to them. I don't know them. Uh, it's These are not friends of mine. This is just a, a father who watched me on YouTube long enough and was, um, I just, I guess, had enough faith in the faith that I have that he could ask me to pray for his son. I'm not going to be get in the comment section answering people saying, I only talk about doom and gloom. I don't talk about doom and gloom. I talk about the world and how corrupt and how yucky it is and how we can thrive and we can be more. How we may have been blind, but now we see the light. I'm joking, guys, I'm joking. Please do me a favor and hit that notification button. If you subscribed, that's great. If you haven't, subscribe already, will you? Don't forget to like. Like the video, please, because it helps. It helps share it around. Share the story around, right? I know, I know, Jacob, you're a weirdo. I get it, I get it. You know what it is? I just, <laughs> I like watching it back. I get a kick out of how comfortable I'm getting with all of you. I love each and every one of you. I hope you have the best day ever, and I'll hopefully see you with that VR show that, uh, that I'm going to be doing on Friday. Maybe I'll have Big Daddy Z on. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, hey, check out his channel, too. I'm going to put it in the link. He's starting out. He's starting out. You know what it is? Is that he's got a gift, and he's funny, and he's passionate. And obviously, the last two shows, <laughs> the dude, he's like, he's not even he's sending me texts. And it's just, it just feels like the timing's there, and I'm grateful for it. So uh, I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.